When you open the quote bottle tool, this is the screen that you'll be first brought to. Firstly, you will need to enter the project information and it's usually easiest to start with a postcode if that's possible. So I'll use a Tornado Office postcode and click on locate. And you'll see that the customer address field, the customer town, the customer county, and the location of the map are automatically updated. You'll also need to enter a contract title and a customer name. And you can also change the reference number from the automatically generated one if you prefer. You can then find the field or the area that you wish to fence on the map. So usually it's easiest to zoom in so you can get a better idea of where exactly you'll be clicking. And when you're ready to start planning your fence line, you just need to left click with the mouse on a map wherever you wish to place your first post. A drop down box will appear and this will allow you to select the post type. So we'll say this one here will be a strutted corner post. And all you need to do then is work your way around the field placing your posts. So you can zoom in or out to make sure that you're going in the line that you wish to. And what you can do as well, if you make a mistake and decide that you need to remove a post, if you right click on that post with your mouse, you'll see there that it disappears. And when you've put all of the posts in that you require for your fence, and check that you're happy with the fence line. You can then move down to the next section. And if you wish to make a closed fence, if you click on the box here where it says open fence, you'll see that it changes to closed fence and the length of the fence line, the field below, automatically updates to reflect the increased distance. You can also select the distance between the intermediate posts and change this if required. Either by clicking on the arrows or manual, manually entering a value. And if you've included any gateways in your fence line, then you can select them here from the drop down menu. You also have the option here, if you choose to, rather than using the mapping tool to place your posts, to upload a fence line from the Tornado Track mobile app. If you have plotted a fence line on the app that you'd like to use, simply upload it from your mobile to your account. And then when you come to this area of the quote builder, instead of using the map tool to place your posts, simply click here on load fence and then select your project from the list. Once you've uploaded the fence line, you'll need to select the post types as you have on the map here in this example. And you'll also need to include any gateways that you may have in the fence line in the sections below. When you're happy with your fence line, all you need to do is click on the bottom button fence line complete next step.